Mark Spencer here from Ripple Training. I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about how to get your Motion 4 templates into Final Cut Pro 10. And even if you don't have Motion 4, you actually own some Motion 4 templates inside of Motion 5. In fact, there are four different types of Motion 4 templates. There are the Motion 4 templates that ship with Motion 5. We'll talk about those first. There's some additional Motion 4 templates that come with the supplemental content. There's all the rest of the Motion 4 templates. And then, of course, if you've created your own Motion 4 templates. Each of these requires a little bit of a different process to get these into Final Cut Pro 10. So let's see how it works. Where I'm going to start is actually in Motion 4, just so we can see the templates that I'm talking about. In Motion 4, if I choose to start with a template, I'll get this template browser. Now, my template browser has a lot of custom templates that I've created. I'm going to go down to where the normal templates start so it looks like yours if you use Motion 4. Probably more, more like this. So we have themes, and within the themes, we have many individual templates. Here's our bunch of 3D HD text projects. And if we scroll down, there's all kind of other templates in here. Some are HD, some are SD, but there's a ton of them. And our goal is to get these guys into Final Cut Pro 10. So what I'm going to do is quit Motion 4, and I'm going to launch Motion 5. In Motion 5, we have this project browser. In the project browser, on the left-hand side here, are compositions. These default compositions that ship with Motion 5 are all Motion 4 templates, a subset of the Motion 4 templates. And they're quite easy to move into Final Cut Pro 10. Here's what we need to do. Let's select the Pulse theme and then this Pulse Open. And we get a little preview of it here in this preview window. Now let's click Open a Copy. I'll hit Shift-Z to fit it to the window and move the playhead forward so we can see something. There we go. Now, all we need to do to have this template show up in Final Cut Pro 10 is to publish it. So I'm going to go to the File menu and choose Publish Template. In the dialog that comes up, there's a few things we need to do and we don't do them in the order that you would think you would do them. The first thing we need to do is click Publish as Final Cut Generator. That will change the categories that appear, so we're going to start there. The next thing we'll do is give it a name. I'm going to call it Pulse Open, and then we need to give it a category. You've always got to assign a category when you publish to Final Cut Pro 10. Rather than use this one, I'm going to choose a new category and just call it Pulse. Now we do not need to use unused media. I don't know why this isn't unchecked by default. I never use it. And then I'm also not going to save a preview movie just so we don't need to sit here and watch it render. I'm going to click Publish. Now I'm just going to switch over to Final Cut Pro 10, which is already running, and go to the Generators browser. In the Generators browser, there is our new Pulse category. And there is our pulse open. Now the cool thing is, even though I did not choose to create a preview movie, if I skim across it, I will still get a preview. Because Final Cut Pro 10 is going in and reading that motion project file. It may not play as quickly as a fully rendered preview movie would, but without even creating a preview movie, we can still preview it. I'll select it. I'll press E to append it to the end of my project select it, and then we can go in and change the text and do whatever you want. Okay, so that's the basic process of taking one of the existing Motion 4 templates that appears in the project browser in Motion and publishing it to Final Cut Pro. Now, what about the supplemental content? I mentioned here that there are Motion 4 templates that come with supplemental content. Well, if you have installed Motion 5 and then run Software Update, you'll be prompted to download some additional content. If you do so, that content will be placed in this directory here in this first window. Here's the path. 
In your root, library, application support, a new folder will get created called Final Cut Pro, which will contain a variety of uh, different media. One of the things that it will contain is a templates folder, and in there is a compositions folder. I moved it out so you wouldn't see this at the beginning, but I'm going to put it back in. That's what it'll look like. The supplemental content includes some sample media, these compositions, and a few other things. But now if we go back to Motion 5, and I'm going to hit Command N for a new project, we now, in the composition section, have three additional Motion 4 templates. Decode, Skyline, and this one called, uh, and this one, sorry, this one called Vine. So I'll select the Vine open, and we get a preview. And for this, it's the same process. We'll open a copy. I'll hit Shift-Z, move the playhead, go into the File menu and choose Publish Template. Publish as a generator. We don't need unused media. We'll call it Vine, Open. We'll create a new category called Vine. Create, Publish, Switch to Final Cut Pro 10, and there we go. There's our new category, and there is our template. If we wait a second, we'll get a little preview by skimming over it. This time I'll drag it down onto the existing generator and choose Replace. And our new template's in place, and it includes the text that we changed previously. Very cool. And that's how you can publish those Motion 4 templates. Now, what about the rest of all the Motion 4 templates? How do we get those into Final Cut Pro 10? A little bit different for two reasons. The first reason is you need to find them because you're not going to see them in the Motion 5 Project Browser. So, if you have Motion 4 installed, all of its templates live in this location. In your root, library, application support, Final Cut Studio, Motion, templates. And there we have all the templates that ship with Motion 4. So what we need to do with these is open them from here and publish them. Now there's something else we need to deal with though, so check this out. I'm going to go in and choose this TechBlue Open 1 project. And I'll choose Open Original, just so I can see the name of it. So there it is, Tech Blue. I'll hit Shift-Z to fit it to the window. And there's what it looks like when it kind of resolves onto the screen. Now, there is an additional step here. This template has drop zones. If we just publish, those drop zones will not be available in Final Cut Pro 10. So before we publish the template, we need to publish the drop zones. So I'm going to go into the user content group, into drop zone one, and select drop zone one. Then in the inspector, where it says source media, I'm going to use the animation menu here and choose publish. Then I'll do the same thing for drop zone two. Publish. Now if I select the project, we can see Publish Parameters includes those two drop zones. That's the key additional step you need to do if a motion template includes drop zones. Now that we've done that, let's go to the File menu and choose Publish Template. We'll call it Tech Blue Open 1. Publishes Final Cut Generator, no unused media, and we'll put it in a new category called Tech Blue and publish. Now switch over to Final Cut Pro. There's our new category. There's our new template. I'll give it a minute and we should be able to preview it just by skimming over it. There we go. I'll drag it on top of the existing generator. Release the mouse and choose replace. It's much shorter. I'll select it. And now, 
Let's click on it to select it. In the Generator tab of the Inspector, we have the two drop zones. So if I select one of those drop zones, and then select a piece of media, I can choose Apply Clip, and that clip's placed in that drop zone. I'll add one in the second drop zone here. Let's see if we have something a little more interesting. I'll choose this picture right here, Apply Clip. And there we go. We've had our text replaced and our drop zone content replaced uh, very quickly and very easily. And that's really all it takes to publish your Motion 4 templates so they're available in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, for the very last one is your own Motion 4 templates. How do you do that? Very similar process. I'm going to go back to the Finder. And my third little window here is where I have all of my own templates. Where those get stored is in Users, Home, Library, Application Support, Final Cut Studio, Motion, and Templates. You can just pause this video so you can see the path. The key difference here is that the templates that ship with Motion 4 are stored in the root, not the user, but then the same path. You can see all this is the same path, but it's not in the user uh, or the home directory, while this one starts in the home directory. All you need to do here is select the one you want to use. So I'll go to this one called Stroke Cool. And there's actually multiple templates in here. I'll just open up this one right here. Again, I'll choose Open Original. And here we have a template. Uh, this is one of the templates that we actually have available at rippletraining.com. Uh, and the same process applies, is to go ahead and publish this, but first publish the drop zone. So that's basically the whole thing. That's all you need to do to be able to go ahead and publish all of your Motion 4 templates, all the ones that ship with Motion 4 and all of your own Motion templates, and have them available in Final Cut Pro 10. Again, I'm Mark Spencer from Ripple Training. If you want to learn more about how to use Motion 4 or Final Cut Pro 10, please check us out at rippletraining.com. And thanks for watching.